I'm Alison and welcome to Play Talk Read. Oh look, here comes Benji and here comes our friend Pom Pom wearing a lovely red cape. Hello Benji. Hello Pom Pom. Hello. And today we are in the city of Stirling and behind me is the Stirling Castle sitting on top of a volcanic craggy rock and the very famous Wallace Monument and the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. Today I'm going to show you how to make a ribbon wand and for this activity you will need a stick, some colourful ribbon, some scissors, glue and some tape. So I'm going to start making this stick wand by using a stick that I've picked up from outside and attaching some ribbon onto it just by tying it on. I don't need to tape the ribbon onto this kind of stick. It should stay on itself. So I'll do that again just to show you. We half the ribbon, make a loop, and then pop the ends of the ribbon through the loop like so. There we are, I think we'll choose one more colour. We've got blue and purple. So I'll put a nice green ribbon on next and three ribbons should look perfect. There we are and that's all ready now for you to wave around and you could have a dance with that. You could make some patterns in the air. It's great for tickling and you could maybe even do a little bit of magic as well. Now you can also make these with the lollipop sticks just by taping the ribbon onto the end of the stick and this one here I've made using a straw and that's got the curling ribbon on it. There you are, so that also works quite well. Now, we also made a stick kite and put some ribbons onto that just by attaching three different sticks together with pipe cleaners. So that can be great fun for running around outside waving that behind you as well. Now, if you have a little one, and they're not quite old enough to hold on to a rainbow wand, you could make a little rainbow teether toy like this. And you need to use a very smooth wooden curtain ring to make sure that this is safe for your little one. The same idea again, just take some nice colourful ribbon, pop that through the loop and pop it back through itself so that it's nice and secure. And these are great for babies because ribbons are lovely sensory material and they can also put the ring in their mouth quite safely as long as you're supervising them. I hope we've inspired you today to get creative with ribbons at home and thank you very much for watching. So goodbye from me and goodbye from Pom Pom bye bye. and goodbye from Benji. Goodbye.